Islam enslaved black people far longer and way before Europeans ever did. Now, is this to get European slavery off the hook? No, it's not. But the point I'm trying to make is I can't understand why people praise Islam like it didn't pop off the slave trade. There would be no slave trading around the world had it not been for Arabs. Arabs started slavery. I have already showed you how the same people wrote all of these religious books. It's why they say all the same thing. If you don't know about Freemasonry, you need to study Now, it. they believe that some illiterate nigga named Muhammad wrote that piece of shit Quran. They believe, and it's confirmed by the Quran, that Muhammad married his wife, Aisha, at nine years the fuck old. And now I'm going to show you a party with grown men and little boys dancing homosexually. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is not a girl. These are all boys in here. Look at. Look at this shit. That's a whole nigga. I can't watch no more of this shit. I can't. I can't. I can't watch no more. The Quran, as I show, promotes pedophilia. Okay? Muhammad was a fucking pedophile. This is why all them niggas feel justified in being pedophiles and marrying underage girls. I read multiple verses where they gave you even laws and statutes on marriage to where they said if you raped or if you if you sexually penetrated a woman's son, you couldn't marry the woman. It didn't say you couldn't penetrate the boy. It just said, if you do so, you can't marry the mother. You got to go find another woman, okay? And then the other verse I read told you that the woman seen the man kissing on the little boy. And they said that it was by the, the mercy of Allah that he was allowed to love the little boy. So this is pedophilia running rampant all through the motherfucking Quran like a virus. I just showed you actual pedophilia in front of your fucking face, okay? And child prostitution happening. In the Islamic world. And so we don't just want to light the Catholic Church up. We want to light everything up that got to do with pedophilia. All religions approve of pedophilia. I already broke down how Judaism said that you can have sex with a three-year-old, okay? And, and, and that is, is no worse than poking them in the eye. It, it, they said it's just like poking a three, poking somebody in the eye. It'll cry and then it'll heal. This is actually in the motherfucking Torah. I read it. So Judaism promotes pedophilia. Christianity, I've been exposed that for promoting pedophilia and homosexuality. Now we're going to show you how Islam promotes pedophilia and homosexuality. So when you ask what the fuck is wrong with the world, these are the three governing religions of the world. Muhammad is a motherfucking pedophile. End of the book. Don't even need to open it. When you go to a Masonic Lodge, guess what three books is in there? I'm going to show you the picture right now. I already showed you. I'm going to show you all again. Okay, a Quran is in there, a Torah is in there, and a Bible is in there. You know why? Because the nigga who built the lodge wrote all three of them books. All three of them books say the same shit in different languages. The Christian book, the, the Bible is Old English. The Torah is alleged Hebrew, which is only 100 something years old. And then the Quran is in Arabic. Okay, all three of these books are nothing more than the same story in three different languages told by the same nigga. So I don't want nobody talking about some, I don't want nobody talking about no motherfucking, oh, oh, they don't believe like that no more, or they don't teach that, da 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 Yes, the fuck they do. This is from 2008, okay? Now let's go. While consume, he said, while consummating the marriage, having sex with the wife for the yeah, first time, uh, is another thing. That's scary. Yeah, yeah. There is no minimal age for entering marriage. <laughs> you heard the nigga, even though he's speaking Arabic. He said there is no minimal age 
for for marriage okay okay let's keep it moving <laughs> but is the girl ready for sex yet or not let's see him answer the question <laughs> what is the appropriate age for having sex for the first time let's see what let's see what it, let's see what muslims in islam have to say about this okay <laughs> This varies according to environment and traditions. Let's go. In Yemen, girls are married off at 9, 10, 11, 8, or 13. Pedophilia. While in other countries they are married off at 16. Let's keep it moving. Some in some countries they have legislated laws forbidding having sex uh before the girl is 18. The Prophet Muhammad is the model we follow. Here we go. Let's now it's getting hot. Because if you a follower of Muhammad. Nigga, this is the model you follow. It ain't no if, ands, or bust. It ain't no I follow Muhammad, but no, nah, nigga. This is what you, this is your blueprint. Period. You don't get to switch up the Quran because it got some shit in there that's exposing that you a weirdo. Either get off the doctrine or get with it. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> he took Aisha to be his wife when she was six. I'm not even playing no more of this nigga. He just said all I needed him to say. So you just heard this man say, the prophet Muhammad, excuse me, is the model he followed. And he took Aisha to be his wife at six years old. Okay? So any nigga following the Quran, I don't give a fuck if you a, a Sufi, a Sunni, you a Middle Eastern, you a nation of Islam, I don't give a fuck what kind of Muslim you think you are, nigga. If you following the prophet Muhammad, bitch, you are supporting a pedophile, uh, pedophile, pedophile. That's what the fuck you're doing, okay? These, I just had a real Muslim, okay? Admit out of his mouth the ages in which they like to wife up women. If Muhammad really did exist, he was a pedophile. How can you follow a man that had a six-year-old wife? How can you do that? How can you do that? Where's your morality at? Now, what you about to see, remember, and remember, in a verse, it said what? Let me go back to the verse for y'all real quick. It said, and they shall have boys who walk around among them as if they were hidden pearls. Now, watch this shit. This is a Muslim man teaching this little boy how to dance like a female because they finna have a, a what is called a bacha party, B-A-C-H-A-S, and the bachas is basically an underage homosexual boy that they auction off for sex because they can't have sex with the women until they marry. And so what they do is they have sex with the little boys until they marry a girl. Now watch this. Look at look at him teaching this boy how to be a homosexual. Watch this shit. <laughs> look at this shit. A dance lesson for a bacha boy. Look at these niggas. Look at them. Look at them talking about move your hand like this. Look at this shit. I was 12 or 13. Go back. Let me go back. He said he said he was 12 or 13. Nigga can't be no older than 16 right now if I had to guess. He said he was 12 or 13. Yes, he said, at first, I didn't know much about it. I thought it was just a game. It's hard to believe he's being entirely honest. Everywhere in Afghanistan knows Bachar boys don't just dance. But that's no excuse for the people who recruited him. Under the social norms here, women selling sex is an even bigger taboo than child prostitution. They just asked this boy, how does it feel when you're having sex? He's a fucking minor. I don't even want to repeat the fucking question. It feels a bit like love. This nigga only 15, not even 16 yet. 
Took my money yesterday. Yeah, I I but it can hurt badly too. But money is important. And here is the star. His name is Gulak. Look at this name. I'm going to just give y'all the narrative. The bus drivers who are the older men, when they sleeping at these bus terminals, they be catching the little boys that stragglers and raping. Let's keep it moving. In the open. And don't none of these niggas say nothing or do nothing because they all with it. Let's go. Tell me about the kids who come here. They're not orphans, they're runaways. Yeah, okay. Boys often come and go. Bus drivers do what do the bus drivers do to them? Bad things happen to them. They take them by force because the kids don't want to go with them. Then they rape them. Then they rape them. Okay? Then they rape them. Let's keep it moving. Now they ask the nigga, has this happened in front of you? This nigga said yes. Now, now hold on, let me let him answer. Once the driver came and there was a child sleeping with me on the bed. Okay? Now pause, because I got to just say it now. I can't wait. This nigga is finna admit that he raped two kids. Now, now, if he telling the cameraman too, that means we got to throw a zero on the end of that. Because my question would be, what the fuck is you doing with a child sleeping in your motherfucking bed, nigga? You grown. This is him talking. He said he he he's telling the story of what happened to him while he was uh trying to get some sleep one night. He said, I was sleeping on a bed here once. And four people grabbed me and threw me in a car. Four people grabbed him and threw him in the car. One was a bus driver, the other two were heroin addicts. All four of them raped him. Come on, man. After that, he was bleeding and fainting. He also admits to using boys for himself. You can tell he's lying. Look how he's smiling, talking about I've only done it twice with children. 